to going YouTube. My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today we've got a Jordan 1 review for you with one of my favorite Jordan 1s of all time really and then we've got the new reverse or 2.0 version the Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0 or Jordan 1 Reverse Shadow. This shoe is one that I was really curious to see early. Thanks to Sneaker Knockers for hooking me up with a pair for this video. And let's go ahead and just really jump right into it. So right here, we have the Jordan 1 Shadow. Now this pair released in 2018. It's the high OG, so we've got Nike Air on the tongue. We've got the OG or high cut as far as the height goes. And this is a shoe that honestly, when it released, it was very, very easy to get. I got two pairs, I think from Foot Locker and Champs. And I ended up reselling them, made like a really small profit this shoe did not resell for a lot of money until last year 2020 and right now I didn't even know this but right now these are going for like 500 bucks and it's one of my most worn pairs you can see on the toe we've got a lot of toe box creasing going on this is one of my favorite pairs guys and I'm super excited to have these this pair that I got actually came from my brother Max he got them for me for my birthday a couple years ago and luckily I got them before the price spike because $500 for this shoe a little crazy I think that's a little too high but I'm glad that I've got it I wear it all the time and let's talk about this one now this shoe is going to release later this year it's different it's different this is a reverse version the shadow in the OG colorway has released several times the first time that I remember it releasing was 2013 and that time it actually had like this new buck material all the gray right here was like new buck and that pair was also cut different it just wasn't that nice of a release and then these came back in 2018 this pair being the reverse, they decided instead of an all leather upper, they went with leather on the black here on the midfoot and then on the toe box. And then the other paneling is all in like a gray new buck. Now the grays obviously don't match up. We've got two different grays here, which that I don't know if that really matters. I mean, obviously it is like kind of like the reverse shadow colorway, just like the reverse bread ones, but I don't know. I don't love this colorway, but it is intriguing because it is so neutral. It goes with so much stuff. So this is a pair that I do expect to be very, very popular once it releases. And the release date I think is set for sometime in May. I'm sure it will change because the last two years, Jordan brand changes release dates all the time nike does too i don't really know the reasoning behind it i feel like release dates back in the day used to be really solid like when i worked at finish line the release date was the release date every once in a while a release date would get pushed but they pretty much stayed true to the original like release date and now everything gets pushed they get canceled i don't really know the reasoning behind all that but these are set to release later this year sometime around may and i'm glad to have them this early so i could show them to you guys and i think it is a really nice colorway just not one that I think that me personally, I have to have. I'd much rather have this pair if I had to choose between the two. But if you can't spend the money on these or just don't wanna spend the money on this pair, I think you could actually get a really great value for these. I don't think resale will be too crazy. And overall, I would say it is a pretty nice sneaker. This one, I think has softer leather. So I would say the leather like on the upper here around the ankle collar and then also on the toe box, this is a much softer leather. However, this one's got kind of like the cheaper, like like smooth leather on the toe box. You've got the smooth leather here. The new buck feels okay. It's not the best quality, but it feels all right. It's not the worst either. The stitching honestly looks on point. I don't see any flaws in the stitching. So overall, I do expect these to be pretty nice. The new buck or suede here on the heel does actually look pretty good. You've got that color shift when you do this with your finger. So overall, guys, I would say these are a pretty nice release. I would say go for them if you want them because I'm sure there will be some resell. But overall, I don't think it's going to be that high, not initially. Maybe 
an extra 50 to 75 bucks over the retail price because I think this will be a widespread release one that's not too hard to cop this year. Hey guys, just wanted to jump in here real quick and remind you I am doing a giveaway for the Tom Sachs Marjar 2.0. I teamed up with Sneaker Knockers. All you gotta do is watch this video right here. All the rules are in the description. The giveaway ends March 7th. Now let's get back to the video. But like I was saying guys, this is the Shadow 2.0 and I think they just have given it that name because it is black and gray. It is truly a totally different sneaker. I'll point out some of the differences that I've noticed. One being the sock liner. This one's got a mesh sock liner but it's a lot more tightly woven. It's a lot softer, honestly. It's a lot more smooth. Whereas this one's got kind of like that more like open hole mesh, which is like kind of rough to the touch, honestly. It's not super soft, but it is something that I wanted to point out because you can see a big difference between this sock liner and this one. Another thing that I wanted to point out is they did actually use the same tongue tab. So you've got the same black and gray Nike Air on the tongue. And of course it is still a nylon tongue on both sneakers. So they did keep that true to form. The stitching also, there's no contrast stitching. The stitching matches all the leather paneling. So I think that was good. Sometimes they like to do like a contrast stitch, which occasionally it does look good but in this case I'm glad they kept it with that same matching stitch the Air Jordan wings logo is in black this is a really clean sneaker guys I don't want to downplay it too much but this is a really nice clean sneaker I don't like it as much as this one but that doesn't mean it's not a good sneaker it's just not my favorite I prefer this one right here but this is a really clean Jordan 1 sneaker I think it will sell out of course all Jordan ones do I don't see the resale being too crazy on it probably around 50 to 75 bucks like I said earlier but this is just a really nice Jordan 1 I mean you can't go wrong with the shadows I think the Jordan 1 shadow is one of the most released colorways over the last like four to five years because you've had like multiple drops in 2017 these dropping in 2018 they dropped them in 2013 so the Jordan 1 shadow is one that has been dropped a lot of times and I think it's because it's so popular it's so easy to wear and Jordan brand knows that they can just kind of remix it a few different ways drop it and we're gonna buy them every single time so that's all i've really got for this sneaker review guys now stay tuned for the next part all right guys i wanted to take a second and try something new as always i appreciate your love and support anytime you like or comment on a video it really goes a long way to help me out and i just wanted to take a few minutes to address comments that i get i try to reply to all of you guys but i wanted to highlight some of my favorite comments from the previous video which i did with clint frazier from the new york yankees highlighting his sneaker collection and so i'm going to go ahead and share some of my favorite comments from that video so if you have any questions or comments from this video go ahead and drop them down below the first one I want to share is from sweaty casual and it says his takes are so interesting he can have whatever shoe he wants so he's not biased based on hype his collection is dope as hell got to get on that level so that is something that I saw a lot in the comments his collection is absolutely insane guys I tried to compact it down as much as I could unfortunately we didn't get to show every single shoe that he had and maybe it's something we'll revisit in the future I'm sure there is a part three video coming and we'll see what happens on that but he has a really crazy collection and like I said unfortunately we couldn't show every single shoe the next comment is from Jack Johnson and he said any of the SB lobsters with the plaid tablecloth pattern integrated somewhere like on the inside of the glove would be a dope baseball glove you guys had a lot of suggestions so Clint and I asked for suggestions on what type of glove he should make for this season that would resemble a sneaker and so if you guys watch the video you'll see some of the gloves that he's already made for this season but he said he's going to make some more so he asked for suggestions this was one that i really like the lobster sbs would be really sick as a baseball glove and you guys had some other really great suggestions i saw the diors the sean witherspoons which the sean witherspoons if you can make a baseball glove with corduroy like that that would be insane the kobe six grinch that would be a really crazy baseball glove you guys had great suggestions i appreciate all the comments the next comment is from Stuart randall which says clint is the first guy i've seen with a pair of sea crystal dunk they're one of my personal favorite sneakers that said I think it would look sick as a baseball glove although maybe don't use pig suede on it so another comment about what baseball glove he should make but also just another comment showing that Clint has a lot of sneakers that aren't hyped at all and those are some of his favorites yes he has Dior's he has Unions he has Travis's he has all the really hype sneakers too but some of his most favorite and things that we talked about off camera are sneakers that honestly I don't know the name of I don't know what year they released and there's no hype on them but they are some of his favorites either the fit or the colorway or the color blocking. I thought it was really cool to share with him and just kind of talk about sneakers because he does
does love sneakers, it's not all about the hype to him, which is something that's hard to find these days. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. This is just something that I wanted to try out with you guys. I really appreciate all the love and support as always. Whether you're a new subscriber or you've been around since the beginning, I appreciate all the love and support each and every video. And with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Now it's on to the next sneaker.